Hello, I am Maria Diaz and I have been a cross stitch designer for well over 20 years, working with professional cross stitch design software for much of that time. In this video, I'll be demonstrating using cross stitch designer from so and so how to create a basic border using a repeat motif. I'll show you how to create a simple motif, how to edit it, and using the cut and paste tool. Repeat said motif, transforming it into a simple yet attractive border design. So let's get started. So, cross stitch designer from so and so. Okay. Template type. I like to work with pretty small charts because I find it quite difficult. If you've got a thousand squares to find out where your drawing is. So, we'll go for a hundred stitches by a hundred. It's always a good place to start. 14 per inch rectangles. OK. Now, I've got a completely blank palette here. You go to palette and you clear palette to create that because it usually comes up with your colours. Now, I like to pick my shades before I start. So with this, We'll use some nice bright shades. So if you go it down onto your palette and you double click, it will bring you up the list of thread manufacturers and types of thread. So if we go into DMC Stranded Cotton and let's pick a nice bright green, if we double click on 704, and if you look down here, it will have installed it into your palette. You can then simply click across to the next square, which is a nice simple shortcut, and click again, darker green. I like to keep my contrast quite evident on screen, it makes it easier to see what you're doing. So we'll go for 701. Also keeping within the same colour groups is a nice way to make sure things gel. Okay, so we will move along again and let's go for a nice orange shade. 741 and again um, yellow 743 again and let's go for some pinks so let's go up to the top 604 and 602 and 600 um, and now let's go for some blue shades so if we go 809 and 798 and then what should we do? 797, I'm not sure the contrast will show up. You can always change your colours later on. Right, so close that. So now we have a basic palette here. And if we go up onto palette, onto symbols, Restore symbols to default. What this will do is when you go into see what symbols are on what colours, it will bring you up a different symbol for each colour. Again, like with the palette, you can go through and you can change these to whatever your preference is. We'll stick to these for now. So we will start in the middle, let's see, oh, let's home in a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm also going to go up here and chart and go back to plain colour blocks. And around that let's do, yay we've designed a flower, okay and then let's go again. As you use this more and more, it becomes easier to draw with the mouse. Like I say, having done it for 20 years, so I should be getting quite good at it by now. So what do we think of that as a basic flower shape?
very geometric, but it's the easiest way for me to show you what we're doing. Don't like that bit, so let's take those out. It makes it a lot easier to play than it does when you're using graph paper. Alright, so let's give us a little stalk and some leaves. Keep it simple. I may be moving quite fast for you. But like I say, I've been doing it a long time. Okay, so let's... I use the scroll button on my mouse to scroll in and out, but you can use these uh, magnifying glasses up here. Right, now we go along, top of our select area. Click on that, draw around your flower, and then you can move it around. So if we click on it, you can also, you want to copy and paste to make a border. So if we go up here, this is copy, and then this one here is paste. And it will stay in the paste tool. Okay. Now, if we go to select again and come in a little bit closer, we can see we've got four squares between that one, four squares between that one, five between that one, and five between that one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these over a little bit. There we go. So now we have a nice regular border with five squares between each motif. Now let's spice it up a bit by making some of the flowers blue. So if we click on the blue down here and go along. Oh, no, we need to be into the cross stitch tool to do the drawing. Okay, click on here. And we click on to the next blue. Click on to flood. Oh, got to be in closer to use the flood. So click closer, flood. This will enable you to fill a whole area of one colour. Click along, and that enables us to do the blue as well. Oh, wrong one. There we go. I'm very new to this talking over while I'm working business. Okay, so now we have our border. Very pretty. Now, if we go up to chart, no, grid, apologies, and chart, change size. Now, if we want to make a longer border, if we change this to 200, and we don't actually need it to be that high, so we can change this to 40. Okay, so anything you do can be changed within the program while you're working. If we go to the select tool again, and we select our area, and we go copy, and we go paste. And there we go. So you can extend the border to as long as you need. Now we have two pinks there, so we can pull that across put it straight over that one and it all works nicely. There you go, there's your first border. File, save as, flower, border, one, save. Now you can bring it up and play with it whenever you want. Good luck.